Hi everyone and welcome back to another Bork No Game video. Today's video is dedicated to a summon session, a little trick on how to get five stars easily. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now, the first thing you do, jump into the summons right here. And the things that I want us to know is that the first 10 summons for each limited banner, time limited banner specifically, is you'll be guaranteed a five star Aurorian. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a set of singles on the Carlene and pretty much Uriel banner. And by the time we hit the 10th draw, we should be getting a five star or we could get a five star before that. So let's go ahead and do our first multi right here and see what we are going to be getting, please. Oh, is this a five star right off the bat? I think a five star has to be yellow. So this should be a four star of some sort. Who is it going to be? I think this is Patty and the other Chica, those two. All right, let's go ahead and do one more. Also, if we don't get a five star within like the first couple of these, this will definitely tell you like science wise that this was a failed experiment. But you know, we are learning all together for the sake of it. So, oh man, just look at our Loom Amber just flow down like that. All right, I kind of wish I submitted on the Uriel banner because that was a lot more worth it. So we've gone three deep so far, three deep. And this hurts every single time because the summons, ooh, Yuria is actually really clutch. I definitely really, really needed her. And then let's go ahead and do this. Please be yellow already. This is our fourth one, right? This is our fourth one, or is this our fifth one? I'm pretty sure this was our fourth one. The next one should be, ooh, I like a copy of Zoya. So this is our fifth one. Oh my gosh, can I even math? Can I even math? Please make it stop. Nope. All right, on to our sixth one. You're actually going to make me do all 10 of these. All right, all 10 of these go. So this is our sixth one. And the next one should be our seventh one. So we managed to get Peppy. Oh, I actually needed Peppy quite a bit. So this is going to be our seventh multi, I believe. And then eight and nine and then 10. All right. So seven right here. Who is this going to be? Is this clacking again? Oh, this is Lilium. All right. I, I saw like the little octopus hand. So that was seven right there. And then this is going to be eight, I believe. And then nine and 10. It's either like this upcoming one is the 10th one or this is the ninth one i'm i lost count so <laughs> all right so the next one has to be if not this is a failed experiment oh my god please please be an actual yellow this should be the 10th one yes yeah, so guaranteed on the 10th one this is going to be our five star who is it gonna be please be something cool all right five star dana oh no we already have you we get a free copy of you no get out oh man that's kind of sad all right so yuriel we're gonna be doing 10 of these the banner disappears in 13 days some of you are wondering is this worth it honestly personally i just want to maximize my five star gain in early game i just want to have like more units to use i'm not really like too caring about like the meta and whatnot so this is gonna be our first pull right here four star rose snip looks pretty cool i'm not sure if that's a grill or a dude a waifu or a bondo and let's see okay this is gonna be our second one who's it gonna be chainsaw rick all right who's going to be the third one man why do i actually have to do like all 10 of these i just want it to be because technically when you're doing it in single batches right you have a you know somewhat indicative chance okay so this is the five star of technically you don't have to keep going through the end i saved like what like seven like single pulls right here because i managed to get this person corax that is actually pretty legit that was a pretty easy summon session right there and the reason why i'm doing this is mostly because i want to build like more units for like the different like spiral towers and whatnot so for spire so we managed to get yuria which is pretty cool jola and we managed to get peppy as well for our fire team I think my like hardest like team to run right now is definitely green mostly because of the fact that I don't have any green like DPS characters like when it comes to fire nails is really good and for me specifically Mia's pretty good for me in like yellow lightning and of course you know we have like vice and Sharona and like all the different like DPS people over here but it's like the game just gives you more water units so that's gonna be our little summon session right there and hopefully with this tip in case you want to do like a couple of singles should I say this this should help you out in case you want like more characters. Personally speaking, if you're not going to main like a mono team, you're not pushing like Spire, 
I highly suggest like, you know, try to go for the Uriel banner just so you have a bit more diversity and you don't just lock yourself in into, you know, water comp or ice comp because you're going to essentially need every single color within this game because every single color, very huge relevancy within the game because the game will force you to run other teams. All right, now that we've covered the summons, let's go ahead and cover the story really quick. Now, some of you might be wondering, how does Phyllishai sort of function? What is her deal? Phyllishai is essentially an alternative healer that you can run outside of Zoya. She's going to be a water healer, so no surprise there. Water meta all the way, right? You don't have to run water units. That was a joke, but Phyllishai is going to be a great alternative she's going to be stronger she's going to be a little bit better and not to mention you get some jasper to level her up so no losses there for a dollar definitely worth it all right now when it comes to the monthly pass this is easily worth it getting more loom amber getting more lumo crystals that's going to be great stuff right there honestly the other stuff it's up to you how you want to judge it but these two packs they're definitely 100 worth it now when it comes to like you know the standard lumo crystals it's up to you whether you want to get it obviously first purchases are pretty decent right now when it comes to this the star gems store i was seeing some things where you can get the jaspers these jaspers are technically decent there are limited in time but personally i'm just going to be going for the summons you can only get these little doodads the star gems by doing more summons within the heartstones and stuff so personally i'm just going to get summons because i don't really need the jaspers i'm not really like hardcore leveling up anything too quickly and most of the time when i need more exp materials since i'm not raising too many units i'll just be going through spire or something all right now when it comes to the star store you can get these star crests we can't use them yet i believe i'm sure we'll get them used later on this is going to be for your legendary aurorian it's going to take a while before I, we actually get those but you can this is sort of like the pity function in some ways and you can only get like these ssr star gems after you get like i believe it's either five stars or six stars don't quote me on that but this is a way to essentially pity for some characters and get some more summons obviously i would pick up the limited stuff first or you can pity these characters if you so choose to do so and and then, you know, this is like your standard Loom Amber sort of exchange, right? Now, when it comes to this mystery, personally, I like to buy the stuff that's on sale that I actually require. Most of this stuff is just going to be Ascension materials. It's up to you whether you want to decide whether it's actually necessary or not. Personally speaking, I'm just going to buy the stuff that's on sale that I see fit. Nitium is going to be a finite resource if you decide to purchase a lot of things from this store. Secret store is going to be from the secret territory. Obviously, you should be buying out the summons and then it's up to you whether you want to buy more furniture out or you want to increase the affinity with your characters or your aurorians personally speaking you know i like to increase furniture because i feel like this is a more longer investment you won't get instant sort of gratification by buying furniture but if you buy furniture this will help more of your aurorians out whereas if you buy the gifts then you're only helping out an individual aurorian slash waifu slash osbondo but at the end of the day you can't really go wrong with either or and then here's going to be the top picks where it's suggesting other items for the store all right so it's up to you what you really think is worth it when it comes to like you know actually spending money wise but personally the mystery store i'm gonna go for you know the ascension materials that are on sale i'm gonna go for some furniture and some summons and for here i'm just gonna go for summons because i don't summon that often and then for the gift packs i'm probably going to pick up a philishai if zoya doesn't you know sort of scratch my itch in some ways and one last tip is i'm gonna go here into warehouse you should be opening some of these boxes in case you need some more ascension materials this is just going to be a great way to sort of mitigate the grind for more ascension stuff and not to mention you can get some free furniture or free random gifts and you can get these three aurorians within the colossus let's go ahead and open these 12 boxes up we get some thunder powder and some vintage wine very nice right there i like that so that's going to be personal gifts that you can give to your aurorians let's go ahead and max this out let's see what we get from our anonymous gifts and this is going to be even more stuff that we can give to our aurorians right there so is there anything else that we can use this is some you know get some more prisms and then this is going to be for ascension mats i don't really need those ascension mats right now i want some furniture to to be honest with you i feel like furniture is just so hard to get in this game that's why i covet so much and then when you jump here into the colossus wondering why i'm clamoring so much about furniture if you go here into the mood you can see here that furniture will be increasing the overall colossus mood increasing your colossus mood means more gifts increases visits from friends so i want that so i can get more loom amber and so i can get more gifts for everyone in the game but anyways if you've made it this far in today's video consider subscribing dropping a like leaving a comment 
comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Hope you enjoyed the little summon session and got some, you know, decent five stars in case you decide to do this trick. Good luck if you plan to use the shop for anything in particular. Get some furniture from the secret territory because it's so difficult to get. Thanks so much for watching and have yourself a fantastic day. 25,000 subs giveaway. See ya.